Four Sixes Ranch, an AQHA all-time leading breeder of winners and earnings presents... Ninth fastest qualifier, Five Bar Cartel. Five Bar Cartel has a lot to live up to. He was the 2013 champion two-year-old colt and earned over $650,000 but he hadn't raced since December and was making his first start for the J.J. Gonzalez barn. He's been here all summer and uh, this, this was our goal, to qualify and hopefully win the derby, you know. So uh, we gave him a, a few works and he worked extremely well. Uh, he's a good horse. He's a very good horse. Good to be around the, the, the whole deal. Five Bar Cartel drew number seven for his first start outside California. They're running. Clean break overall. Five Bar Cartel shows speed with Bell Helene at the rail is J Bar and also Cheyenne's Mountain up front and then the icing one down and there goes J Bar. J Bar to strike the front. Five Bar Cartel battling away with that one. Then we have DM1 Hot Charmer. J Bar, Five Bar Cartel, but J Bar is going to win from Five Bar Cartel. Saul Ramirez Jr. was aboard Five Bar Cartel to grab the ninth qualifying slot. The son of Corona Cartel was bred by Esmeralda Flores and races for San Gregorio Racing Stable. Co-owner of 2012 All-American Futurity winner, One Dashing Eagle. As for trainer J.J. Gonzalez, his opportunity to train a champion was forged from his previous career as an All-American Futurity winning jockey. I rode, I rode for San Gregorio Racing and uh, I met them through a good friend of mine named uh, Danny Montes out there in California. And uh, through San Gregorio Racing, uh, come across World Champion Racing. So, you know, uh, it, it's, it goes back to I met a lot of good people when I rode, you know, and, and uh, I'm just thankful for that also.